Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. Hi guys, Chef Bart here and I am the dude with the food. And today we're going to make uh, bow tie pasta with uh, kasha, which is buckwheat. Okay, and it's called kasha varnishkis. So this is what we're going to need. We're going to need a cup of the kasha. We need an egg. We'll need a couple tablespoons of chicken fat, also called schmaltz. And I made this in one of my other videos. Uh, the one where I did the chicken corn chowder, so uh, you can see, you can check that out if you want to see how I made it. And then we got uh, a medium, kind of medium onion, uh, yellow onion chopped, diced finely, and then some chicken stock, two cups, and then we'll need the bow tie pasta or the farfel. We'll need a pound of that, and of course some salt and pepper. So the first thing I did was I put 12 cups of water on the stove behind me and uh, I'm bringing that up to the boil so I can cook the pasta. Okay, so we're going to take the egg, break it into a bowl. And the idea here is we want to get the kernels coated with the egg. Okay, now that that's combined, we're going to go over to the stove and we're going to saute it. Okay, so now we're going to pre-cook the buckwheat, or the kasha, whatever you want to call it. We're going to stick it into a pan, and we're going to toast it. Until the kernels separate. And by the way, I was, my wife was quick to inform me that it's schmaltz, not schmaltz. But sometimes it comes out that way when I say it. Anyways, chicken fat. Okay, so I'm going to let this warm up so we can toast it. Okay, so now it's starting to warm up. And basically what we want to do here, like I said, is just to separate it into its individual grains, cook the egg a little bit. And then just cook it just until you can smell it. Kind of like what you do when you're cooking nuts. I'm not looking to really brown it here. You kind of have to tend to it so that you don't burn it. Okay, I'm starting to smell it a little bit. That's all you want to do now. Put it back in here. Now, I'm going to take a couple tablespoons of that schmaltz chicken fat. Now we got 
to start our seasoning. So we'll add a little salt and some pepper. Meantime, our water just came up to the boil. We're going to add our pasta to that. some salt in the water too. And now we'll cover that. Wait till it comes to the boil. And then we'll cook it per the package directions, which is about, about eight to ten minutes. I'm gonna turn the heat up on this a little bit. to the boil, so I'm going to set my timer for eight minutes. Take the lid off. So I'm going to let this saute for about eight minutes along with the pasta, and uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so now what we're going to do is it's been about six minutes and the onions are starting to get a little translucent. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our chicken stock and turn this up to high. And we're going to add our buckwheat. Bring this up to the boil and we're going to cook it about 10 minutes covered until the buckwheat is tender. You could have started the pasta now, but I started it a little early. So once this comes to the boil, that's your 10 minute window to cook the pasta. What do I know? It'll be good though. Pasta stays hot a long time. Okay, so this is starting to boil. I'm going to cover it now. And then give it 10 minutes. Check our pasta. It still needs a little bit more. I'm going to give this a pinch of salt too. And we're going to turn this down to medium. Because the buckwheat is going to absorb the liquid. And you don't want to have it on too high, otherwise it'll burn. Okay, so it's just about done now. I took the pasta off the heat when it was still al dente and it's just sitting there in the warm water. And this here, it's on a medium low heat. And I've been stirring it every once in a while because eventually there's no liquid left and you don't want this to burn. It's got about another minute to go here. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm going to drain the pasta, and then I'll show you how I put it together. Okay, so what we'll do now is we're going to put our pasta back in the pot, and we didn't rinse it because we don't want it to get all cold. And now we're going to take a 
our mixture and we're going to pour it over the top. Okay, so we'll give this a bit of a stir. And what I like to do is just hit it with a little bit of chicken stock, just to loosen it up a little bit. I'll put some more pepper on it. And I'm gonna hit it with a little more salt. To this point, it's probably a tablespoon of salt altogether, but of course it's to taste. actually pre-cooked the buckwheat with the egg on it to separate so that it wouldn't clump together. That's what it does if you don't pre-toast it with an egg. So now it's nice and separate. So now we'll plate it up. My counter is very clean. And that's the dish. Mm. This is definitely an acquired taste. <clears throat> but it's definitely well worth it to do it this way if you like it because it is the best you'll ever taste. Kasha Varnishkas. Enjoy the holidays. See you next time.